Hello and welcome to iDrive. Today we are going to talk about Avi Kanwar and we are going to talk about Joey Hassan. Yeah, what's up bro? Hey, how are you? How are you? Not too bad. So, Dorshak, today we are going to see the star of the show, the all-new Mercedes GLA class. And this is a completely new vehicle from Mercedes. It's an A-class and an A-class hatchback and it's a small 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 hatchback. तार ठीक एक ता हल्का एसयूवी वर्शन माने सेम शैसी थे एक ता नोटुन शेल बोशे दा हो चे। इस जस्ट अ जैक्ड अप वर्शन ऑफ एन ए क्लास शो जगह तो बोला जाए एंड अमरा आगे सबसे में जानता हूँ जब मर्सिडीज़ एर एसयूवी गुला के एम दे डिनोट करा होतो एम क्लास एम मदर पोर्ट सो दे हैव डन समथिंग डिफरेंट लिंकेज वर्ड टा एल रखा चहे एंड द लास्ट यू नो लेटर ए अथवा सी जेटा हो इट्स कंपैरिजन टू व्हाटेवर सेडेंस देर इस जर कुम ए क्लासेज जुन्ने द जीएलए सी क्लासेज जुन्ने जीएलसी एंड एस सच गो या इतो आ वेल दिस इज अवेलेबल फॉर परचेज एट रैंक ऑन मोटर्स लिमिटेड वर द ऑथराइज्ड � comes with two years warranty and there's some catch to the warranty. Yeah, the catch being that usually I'm going to calculate how much free after sale service package. But a khetre from Rancon Motors, that are regular service offer kochche, so you pay for whatever you need. But then again, their compensation is that comparatively, in comparison to other Germans, or their after sales are quite low. That's what they claim. Okay. So further details are you have to contact the showroom and it comes in a multitude of colors, you know, ranging from metallic and non-metallic to design. Jetta Hochi, you can personalize your own color. So shades vary from white, red, um, blue, gray, and as such. So exterior-wise, it's very similar. It's actually the A-Class, which is jacked up a few inches, actually two inches. So the ground clearance A class is taken to do inch uchu, so you can actually go places and onyx similarity thakar kotha. Jeta abhi kama thakar bolte parve because he had first hand experience with the A. Well, I reviewed the A45 AMG as you've seen before, and ota shat similarity hotse headlight it took design pojinto. This is extended, aur shamne grille je face jeta ida extended. The bumper design completely looks different. Only the chassis is the same. The overall shape looks similar, but everything they have changed. They've even included headlight washers here because this is supposed to be a very practical car. Bear in mind, this is the two-wheel drive version, but not only that, two-wheel drive Volvo with a practicality on it. The ground clearance to start off is one. Um, going back, the hood is sculpted for better airflow and the lines go all the way to the back with traditional Mercedes Winker mirrors. Yes. I think it's an earlier version. Yes, the Mercedes is a signature actor genish. It's actually running on 215, 60, 17 inch wheels from Mercedes and using Bridgestone tires. So that's top notch and 17 hot a car is I think it's right for the you know, yeah right comfort height factor height. is there and then you can take it off the road we can a tire profile to basically our Bridgestone dweller hot semi on road off road tire so they can serve you both purpose so it don't need to that very stylish panoramic roof now this is a good touch J Jinishta Amra when you know I think I think it's a very big one yeah, yeah. it's a full panel Porjunto, it opens up and it gives you a very nice effect if it's a starting out or you know you're in the rain Moving along the side, there is a line which protrudes out at the back. I mean, it's shaped like a bar of a lot of This actually looks like a jacked up station wagon from Mercedes. It's a competition of the BMW X1 and the Audi Q3. We've reviewed the X1 before and we personally both love the X1. Honestly, they have done wonders with the X1. X1 is a bit bigger. So interior on space basis, interior review correction will be able to tell you the, uh, how much space this one has to offer. How's um, the rear? The, there's no power trunk, but the rear actually looks more appealing than the front. There's a single exhaust. space uh, You can fold down the seats for additional cargo, obviously. A class if you compare the uh, boot space, it keep ek to beshi, I guess. Ek to beshi. Definitely ek to beshi. Ek to beshi. But we'll find that out, won't we? Let's look at the engine. The new GLA is powered by a 1.6 litre inline four cylinder turbocharged engine with an output of 120 horsepower and 200 Newton meter of torque. Now, uh, 120? Well, horsepower is just a number, and so is torque, right? Since it's turbocharged, it's an onic torque, and torque is the 
power that helps you to move the vehicle forward, right? Horsepower could be essential when you have that much torque. Indeed. You know, horsepower is essential in the long run. And once you're above 140, 150, <laughs> which we have no roads for. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. Thankfully, no roads to that. And uh, in addition to that, this is uh, actually powered by a 7G dual clutch automatic transmission as well. So uh, you actually can have fun with it too. Yeah, it's a front engine four wheel drive car and it has Charlie on it because the suspension is supposed to be stiffer because it's a shorter chassis. Our eager waiting capacity, since this is, we're talking about practicality, the air intake duct is here so you can wade through water. Wade through water means like the water can come up to here and the car will still function. So that's good. And also some of them have the four wheel drive version. This is the front wheel drive. If you have basic traction or you're an off-road enthusiast, you can opt for the four wheel drive. But bear in mind, what is the tail because it's full-time four wheel drive. This car has a lot of engine variant. In fact, 1.6 liter, but that has more higher, um, you know, output. output. Well, this comes in five engine variants, two being diesel and three octane, and there's also the special GLA 45, GLA 45 AMG, AMG, which is also two liter 400 horsepower vehicle. So well, let's check out the interior. But before that, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take the rest of the review and the rest of the show. Shongay Thakun will be right back. Welcome back to iDrive. Ekhom dek bomba GLR interior. Starting off, it doesn't have any optical meters or anything of that sort. Bear in mind, this is a very basic Mercedes. Actually, the starting class, so it will be very to the point. The gauge cluster is right in front of you, and the AC vents and this whole layout is similar to the like a bad joke, sorry. SLS AMG. Bolo. It's not a starting class. It's a GLA class. Continue. Continue. <laughs> 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 well, you have the infotainment system here, which can be controlled from here, and there is no climate control aircon. Dual zone to dual got climate control in it, so it's very basic. You can select the driving mode from here. I mean, sport the Raklam just in case. And um, the interior is very simple. It's to the point. You have push start. You have the headlight controls here. The sunroof opens all the way with the press of a button from here. Our a kind of vanity mirror to Ati. What I do have a complaint about is the seats. It should have power seats. So here we have front and back and recline coat the dumb because you have to put your hand all the way here and then move it back and forward. Oh. I mean I thought a pro box seat adjustment is much easier and comfortable. <laughs> <than this. laughs> and some arcade genius bulbo, a can a cup holder at the phone racket jaga, can a power outlet, but it is some agano thake. It's a pichano is a challenge. I'm a angle V3D, it's a button push code, then I have to open it or to move it back and then do this. Come on, Mercedes, we expect better. Our interior is quality material, but it's a ba very basic Mercedes, so I shouldn't complain. Still better than other cars, but not in the same price range. True. Obviously, Jaijinshwil mentioned you can get better things provided there's a cost added to it because Germans make you pay for literally you know, mm -hmm. um, Second row seating, I would expect for Mercedes, it's good by all means, but I would, our expectation is too bashy, Mercedes. So, like, I mean, the seats are a bit too inclined. And the flip side is that it's a recline corner option in a particular vehicle. It's good for me, I'm going to take a look at it. The seats are fine, leather interior. You have to appreciate the full black interior with matte silver garnishes here and there. Personally, I really like it because it gives you a um, sporty feel. It has a coat hook on both sides. There are cabin lights on the sides because it has a nine. The panoramic roof goes all the way to the back. Three adjustable headrests and the seats can be folded to 60-40 for additional cargo space if you want. Now, this armrest is fine, but I'm going to take it up. I think it's better better for me. And I really like these two cup holders. This is adjustable. Thank you. Adjust it for me. Oh, thank you, Joey. Uh, okay, then let's head for a drive. Yeah, let's do that. So, driving the GLA in sport mode. Did you say about lack of power, Joey? 
Yeah. And I told you the torque would cover up for it. True, true, true. So as you were also saying, this is the vessel of the Mercedes. Hey, I didn't <laughs> say that. Yeah, you did. Off air. Let me uh. just tell you, the vessel doesn't give this much power or driving pleasure. But the vessel is a nice car. No, no, no. I mean, the only thing I could relate was the size and uh, when a J tier car is, when I was similar to the the suspension is really responsive. So is the steering on sports mode. Comes with premium horns. Oh, I like it. Um, viewing angle, probably bhalo. The seat hugs you. The very good seats. This is actually a good car to drive. I'm enjoying the drive much better than the rest of the stuff that we reviewed. Uh, so I have a question to you. Mm -hmm. You have driven the A45, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not comparing, but I mean, what I'm normal A class is with the A45, what is the difference between the mono and the mono? Lack Eta... of power, uh, the suspension is there are multiple settings. You can go stiff and you can go stiff far. What, for the regular A class? No, the regular A class I haven't driven. Achha. But the A45. Oh, no, that's this, on a... the other hand, this is, this is good. I mean, for the price, this is good. I'll tell you something, this drives better than the BMW X1 that we reviewed. No. Firstly, okay. because the X1 is underpowered. Secondly, the X1 has three cylinders. Oh, hey. There's a bit of Correct. turbo lag. There's no turbo lag on this. I press the throttle, the power is right there, as you can Instant see. Instant response. Yeah. Right. The brakes are also very good. Mercedes are Agit generation, they're factory brakes. But eight are factory brakes. Besh bhalo. I'll give you that. Okay. Piche, how are you feeling? I'm I'm okay. I'm actually okay. I'm comfortable. Mota moti aram da kete jaga achi. Suspension, ei akho ne bootste parbo. It's good padding. Suspension bhalo. Aram achi. Ami jhaki bootste parlam na. Bider awaj ek tu beshi ashe mono hoy. Cabin noise, ma soundproofing ta ek tu better dorker. Better dorker chilo. So what's your rating, bro? Eight. I would rate it seven and a half out of ten. I mean, I mean all just because it's a Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when a car is I think it's mm -hmm. a good car. When a premium, dekhe jinish ta rokum pore bolte hoche. Yeah. It's gonna do its job. Yep. Yeah. Ekhon amar chote break ni bo break er pore the rest of the show. Shongi Thakur, me and Joey will be right back. Welcome back to iDrive. I'm going to show you about the next section, New Runners, where you can see a locally launched car by Pratt and Dekuboli, and also about an internationally launched one. So, Cholun, let's check out the new runners for this week. Our new runner for this week locally is the all-new Audi A4. The A4 is a line of compact executive cars by Audi. This is the fifth generation A4 and is slightly larger and around 120 kilograms lighter than the outgoing model. The A4 is powered by a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder turbocharged engine with outputs of 190 and 252 horsepower and a torque rating of 320 and 370 newton meter on the two variants of the engine. With a bold and sleek new design, the A4 will be a commendable rival for the Mercedes C Class and the BMW 3 Series. Our new runner for this week internationally is the Ferrari Portofino. The Portofino is a grand touring sports car by the Italian manufacturer Ferrari and is the new V8 GT set to dominate its segment thanks to a perfect combination of sportiness, elegance and onboard comfort. The Portofino is powered by a 3.9 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine with outputs of 600 horsepower and 760 newton meter of torque. Such beauty, much wow. Look, look, the show almost has to be cholest, and we actually have a love or hate kind of relationship with this car. So we hope our review actually helps you to decide whether to buy this or the BMW X1 or other SUVs that are in the market, like the Toyota Harrier or the Nissan X Trail, right? Since it falls in the same price range. True that. Uh, personally, I'm not sure. It's actually not a bad vehicle as long as it's an SUV. SUV, anything jeta SUV hokna kano. Yeah. It's a go for Dhaka by all means. I mean, a Mercedes cannot be a bad vehicle, but since <laughs> we are doing a review show, we need to compare and contrast how it is with the others. I well, hope you liked it. Agamita are interesting tips and tricks reviewing up in the channel. But till then, drive safe, take care, look after yourself, keep on watching Idaho and Independent TV. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.